Welcome back to Does It Bite? This is our second episode. We're super excited about our new <laughs> podcast. I'm Stephanie. This is Michael. How are you today? I'm doing great. How about you? So Does It Bite? One of the things that we all think about biting is mm -hmm. bed bugs. Ever since I was a little girl, my parents tuck me in and they say, don't let the bed bugs bite. And right. as a kid, you think that's kind of fun and clever, but nobody really knows what a bed bug is mm -hmm. until they've infested your home. Right. So I thought today we would talk a little bit about bed bug basics, which mm -hmm. is also super timely uh, this time of year as we have just finished up a lot of holiday travel. Right. And one of the um, most popular ways to end up with bed bugs is you picked them up along the way in your travel. So you may be surprised when you get home from Christmas vacation <laughs> to find you have more than presents that you've brought home right. and you end up with bed bugs. So, right. Michael, tell us, give us some bed bug basics and um, kind of walk us through what they look like and, and how you end up with them. Yes, ma'am. So, you know, back in the day when we were growing up, you know, um, we used to go to friends' houses and spend the night with everywhere, you know. Yeah. And your parents would tell you, you know, nighty night, don't let the bed bugs bite. And you didn't have to worry about anything, you know. Uh, well, back in the early 1900s to about 1970, you know, they were using chemicals to kill bugs that we don't use now. Okay. But those chemicals got rid of a lot of bugs. So bed bugs were kind of obsolete for a very long time. Well, about the 1990s, when air travel really started to get going and how people started moving a lot more, you know, uh, vacations happened more, um, bed bugs started to make a reappearance. So about 1998, 1999, 2000, that's really when we started seeing the bed bugs start to make a comeback. So when I worked for a different company back in 2005, mm -hmm. We didn't do much bed bug work. You know, bed bugs were, you know, once a year, yeah, something and like that. I always think of bed bugs in like, you know, seedy New York hotels. Right. Like who ever thinks of bed bugs in West Texas, you know, in, in a regular average home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what happened was people started making more money. People start traveling more. Okay. So the hub of where it really started in the United States was the Eastern Coast. Okay. So, and that's the reason because a lot of overseas travel flies into the New York, New Jersey area, Baltimore gotcha. area. So, and with that population being so tight and so um, big high rises, mm -hmm. bed bugs really exploded. Well, what happens when people go on vacation? They go to a very popular spot which is the Eastern Seaboard. Right. So New York, New Jersey, well, they go there, they fly back home, and then they start to spread. Because you can get bed bugs, they basically hitchhike on us, yes. so they don't, they don't travel on their own, they travel on our suitcases, mm -hmm. our bags, our clothing, yes. our bodies. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, after y'all watch this, like yeah. you're never gonna look at a hotel the same way or a movie theater chair. I'm just gonna warn you right now. Yeah. But um, how do you how do you prevent that, or how, what do you need to be looking for as a traveler mm -hmm. with the bed bug situation? So travel, like you said, you've been doing your studies. Travel is a huge way bed bugs are moving. Yeah. Um, so people are well, bed bugs go where people go. Okay. So that's because the they thing. want to suck your blood. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I know that was super corny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. So. <laughs> but so, it's really gross because they're parasites mm -hmm. and they feed on us. That's it. That's it. They have to have your blood to reproduce yeah. and to grow. So, you know, they're going to hitchhike on you, on your person, on your things. They want you they want right. your blood so um hotels is a huge huge reason why bed bugs are spreading just because of people movement it's not yeah. the hotel itself it's just because you have one family one That's day right. you have another family the next day so there's a lot of people movement so when you have a lot of people movement like that bed bugs tend to spread yeah more. i don't ever put my suitcase on the floor anymore yes. or my clothes yes so this is i think 
if we don't share any other valuable tips uh-huh. when you travel, give us like what do you do when you walk into an Airbnb or a hotel mm-hmm. before you put anything down or okay. let your kids loose in the room? Right. What do you do? So, quick story and yeah. how to explain this. Yeah. So, my daughters play basketball. They're AAU travel team. Yeah. So every time we go to a hotel, they know exactly what to do. So they know when we get to the hotel door, they stop. They let daddy go in first. Okay. We don't bring the luggage in. Everything stays outside the room. And we're not talking about like the Motel 6. We're talking about nice, clean, reputable yes. hotels. It yes. can happen anywhere. Anywhere. Bed bugs are not a respecter of persons. They okay. don't care who you are. You have blood. So I go in. And I check the mattresses, check the box spring, I check behind the headboard. And what are you looking for? When you say check, what mm-hmm. are you looking for? So, of course, we're looking for the live bugs. Okay. okay. We're looking for the adults. We're looking for the nymphs, which are the babies. Um, we're also looking for And you can see eggs. them with the naked eye. Yes, yes, you can. So, so how big are they? The adults are about the size of an adult tick. So, okay. you know what? Like an apple seed. Right. About like an apple seed. That's right. You've been studying. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so that's what you're looking for first. You're looking for okay. the live bug, okay? Gotcha. And then you're looking for their eggs that they lay. Now, their eggs look like rice, little small grains of rice. So, okay. you're going to look for their eggs. You're also going to look for their poop stains. So, they are going to poop a lot. So, they're going to look like um, black felt markers pressed up against okay. a sheet. Okay. That's what their poop looks like. So okay. that's what you're looking for when you're looking for bed bugs. So you're looking for their evidence and you're also looking for the live bug. Okay. So when you check the headboard, check the edges of the headboard. You because say, it's not just the fabric. Right. It's it's like cracks and crevices right. in the wood or... They are the hide and seek champions of the okay. world. So you want to make sure that you check those places because they're close to the bed. Okay. It's close to the bed and they can hide. They okay. want to hide. They hate disruption. They want to hide and wait for you to go to sleep and then for you to. And it's not going to be just one or five or ten. Like, how many? It all depends. Okay. So, bed bugs do congregate. Okay. So, they do stay together as much as they can. So, you know, you could have one bug. Oh, okay. You know, uh, you could have. 5,000 bugs in okay. the room. So they like to congregate. So they like to pick spots that are very comfortable. They can hide. They can protect their eggs, but it's close to the food source, okay. which the food source is humans. Humans. So yes. you go in. I've got us a little off track. So yeah. your kids are waiting in the hallway. Yeah, they're you're still looking, waiting out there. They're still waiting in the hallway. <laughs> uh, tell me, so this, these are the things you're looking mm-hmm. for. What else are you looking for? Yes. So when, you also want to go to the luggage rack thing. Yes. You know, everybody everybody puts their luggage yes. on that rack. I thought it was safe to do that. No, you put your luggage on there, so does everybody else. So the people who have bed bugs also put their luggage on that. Oh, my. And that's a great place for them to hide because there's so many cracks and crevices there on sure that thing. Are. So once we check all that stuff, we check the couch if there's a couch. We check both beds if there's more than multiple beds. And then I let my children in. Okay. So my children come in, and they know where to put their luggage. They either put it in the bathroom in the bathtub Mm -hmm. until we can do a real thorough complete check and that's what daddy does but that's because daddy works with bugs so have you ever have you ever gone to a hotel and checked with your family and found you know what we haven't okay that's good news that's a very good news but i do a lot of hotels that do okay yes okay So. so give us an example um of an extreme infestation job that you've walked in either a home or a or a you know a, a hotel yeah. or an apartment we tell could, us what that looks like we'll stick to the hotel because okay. i have a real good one okay so, tell us the story very popular tourist place so we go in there and they're like yeah we have bed bugs in this room mm. i'm like okay cool we go in there check it was brit and i we go out there check bed bugs are in there and they said well the other pest control company couldn't find them and all this stuff and we're like okay cool me and Brent take a drill, we drill off the headboard, and they're all behind the oh. headboard. There's probably about, maybe about 500 of them behind the headboard, and Like a two big beds. black moving mass of bugs? Yes, yeah, it, I mean, they're just on top of each oh. other, the eggs are there, the poop are everywhere, you know, just everywhere. So me so and Brent- So you start itching right at that moment? Uh, you know what? I'm like itching now, yeah. hearing about it. Yeah, you know, I'm professional. <laughs> So I don't do that at all. I'm a professional. 
Uh, but when I first started, you know, like like I said, you know, bed bugs really one of the big thing with yeah. pest control. But now, since we came over here to Bug Tech, we're doing, you know, probably like three or four bed bug jobs a day. Really? So when I first started, you know, I would go home and dream about it. You know, dream about like, there's bed bugs in the house, and then you know, just and hope that you're not bringing them home yes. after you've treated a yes. job. I do have an occupational hazard of bringing bed bugs home. Okay. I do, but my wife makes sure I don't bring them. Home. So you've you've pulled off. I keep I keep digressing us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so you've pulled off the headboard. Yes. What what's yes. what's so next in this situation? We get the manager, and we show her this is your problem. And she totally wigs out. She takes off running out the building and she's like, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't, I can't be in there. But like, okay, cool. So we, me and Brent show her, we put her, put it back. And I said, we need to check the other rooms adjacent to this room. Because they, do they move between the walls yes. somehow? Yes, they can move between rooms through okay. electrical outlets, under oh. baseboards and things like that. So, so they don't just have to hitchhike on someone's mm -hmm. luggage. They're now, when they're, now when they're adjoining walls, gotcha. so we get we get into the next units, bed bugs in that unit. We get into the next units. We just we're just fanning out, and this whole hotel is infested oh with bed gosh. bugs. It took us about three weeks to go through all the rooms wow. at one time because it was so infested. But we got it under control. We got it taken care of. They're uh, a regular customer of ours now. Um, they don't complain about bed bugs anymore. But it did take us a while. It, it, it was a gnarly one. It was really cool. So um, real quick, we have just a few more minutes. Give us, in that particular case, mm -hmm. what are some of the ways that you, because you can eradicate yes. bed bugs from a premises. Mm -hmm. what, it, what would be your top suggestion for a heavily infested situation like that? What did you do? So on that one, we went in and we literally took the whole room apart. Like I said, bed bugs are the hide and seek champions of the world. So you have to go where they are. They're not just going to be out and open. You have okay. to go look for so them. It's not enough just to strip the bed and wash the no, sheets. No, no, no. They hide in everywhere. So heat, heat is the most effective way, right, mm -hmm. to to beat bed bugs. Yes. So we have this really cool heat truck, right? Yes, yes. It's it's really fancy. It's a propane. Ooh, we need to do a tour of that next time. Yeah, yeah. If we could get my, my man Chris behind the scenes, he could help us out okay, with that. Okay, yeah. we promise you on another episode of Desert Bite, <laughs> we're going to tour the heat truck. But, yes. but tell us a little bit about heat treatment. Yeah. So our heat treatment, we have our own heat our own heat truck or our trailer is a self-contained trailer so it operates on its own okay so it uh, it brings in heat into a home or hotel or a business and we heat up the ambient air temperature to about 160 to 180 degrees bed bugs die at 120 degrees okay because they dry out okay. so that means we're killing every life stage of a bed bug so the adult the nymph and okay. the egg with heat and we also use steaming as a process too because you know you can vacuum up bed bugs you can put chemical down but that chemical is not going to kill the egg okay. so you need to kill the egg and the way you kill the egg is with heat so we also use steaming as well because the steaming will come out about 300 degrees so that would instantaneously kill that egg awesome okay well we're out of time and Already? there's so many more things <laughs> i want to know about bed bugs we opened it with this idea of does it bite and bed bugs do bite but yeah. you're going to have to tune in for the next episode to learn more. Sounds fun. All right, thanks, Michael. We'll <laughs> yes, see you guys next time.